morning check that out that's one croaky voice um, I look quite sleepy and it is 10am so I have had a fairly decent sleep but uh, <laughs> no but last night was fun yeah, so I'm just out with Jeff in our usual spot on a Saturday morning and uh, it's a bit, a bit later than we would normally come out but he's fine with it so that's good yeah I'm kind of regretting coming out without a jumper because I'm a little bit cold and Pete would laugh at me and tell me I'm being stupid because it's warm oh, it's really sunny it's really hot I get cold really easily so that was a mistake <sighs> anyway um, don't think I'm going to get a lot of footage today I'm 99.9% .9 sure that the people I'm meeting up with today who I live with at university are not going to want to be on video so it's going to make things a little tricky come on then Jeff Go on, Jeff. Good boy. Come on, then. Yeah, so I don't think they're going to want to be on camera. I'm not going to make them. It's my choice to do this, not theirs. So, just means that we might be a bit short. Because that's essentially all I'm doing today is meeting up with them. Where I can, I will try and film some stuff. And then tomorrow, chilled day, but I'm with Pete, so he'll be fine with it. So we'll see what we can get. Should flush this out a bit, otherwise this is gonna be a very boring vlog for you. And for that I apologize, because it is only like, what, my fourth? And already the content is rubbish. But, hey life. It's not always fun and shouting musical songs with a bunch of people in the underbelly. Well no, it's the underbelly now, isn't it? So it's all good. I'm kind of just using this now as a way to warm up my voice so I don't sound so husky and there when I see my friends. But I better go now. I better go and pay attention to Jeff. So we're just preparing the house for everyone to arrive. So we decided to shake the rug out, which is currently on the sofa, of all the dirt that was in it. Um, but Jeff isn't a big fan of the hoover. So the easiest way to get him out the way was to stick him on the windowsill. And there he is, just chilling on the windowsill. <laughs> but at least he gets to look out, he quite enjoys that. Jeff, you like it out there? Yeah? Is it good? I'm just with Jeff while they take the kids in the park. I'm just wearing the ball for him. Can I have it then? Ready? Are you ready? Sit. Beg. Spin. Over here. Spin. Spin. Good boy. So, as expected, they didn't want to be on camera, um, but they've now gone home. Um, so we had a nice catch-up, um, we went to the park for a bit, uh, the kids went in the park, the play park, and I played around with Jeff through the ball, as you saw in the clip that was probably just before this. Um, and then we went down for some dinner, we just went to Weatherspoons, because it's easy with small children and stuff. Yeah, Jeff's here. 
um, and I went for something new. I went for the southern chicken strips. They were nice. They were good. They just weren't quite as good as the normal chicken burger. Um, yeah, Jeff's here. He's, he's a bit sleepy. Did you have a nice day? Yeah? Um, so yeah, now we're just gonna chill out, catch up with from yesterday's TV. Might stick on a Disney film, depending on when Pete comes home. So, be good. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good afternoon. Um, welcome to Sunday. I've done a lot of filming this morning. Um, sorry about the wet hair. I've just washed it. But, um, so obviously this morning I've taken Jeff out. And then I did my first week four run of the Couch to 5K, which was hard work. So I'm now running longer than I'm walking, which is hard work for me as my spirit animal is probably a sloth. Or is it koala bears that sleep for like, that sleep for like 16 hours a day or something? And they only wake up to eat. Yeah, that that's my spirit animal. Um, you know, so week four is um, you. What is it? You run for three minutes, then you walk for ninety seconds. Run for five minutes, walk for two and a half minutes. Run for three minutes, walk for ninety seconds. Run for five minutes. And yeah, actually, it wasn't that bad. I was very worried, and I I, I did okay. I think. So I'm in the kitchen, excuse any mess that you might be able to see, um, and excuse this just to keep my hair out of the way so that it doesn't end up in the cake, but that's what we're doing, we're going to make a lemon drizzle cake. So we have equal measures of butter and sugar, the recipe has uh, 225 grams which seems like an awful lot so this might be quite a big cake. And then the same amount of self-raising flour. I need four eggs and it asks for the zest of a lemon but I don't like that so I'm going to put a little bit of juice in there instead. So butter and sugar mixed so quickly with my very hand, handy Kenwood mixer. Um, so then we need to put the eggs in, so that's four eggs and then we need to sieve, sift, Is it sift flour, sift, sift flour. There we go, get my words out and mix that all together. And we bang it in the oven for 45 minutes, I believe, on gas mark 4. And let's hope it all turns out lovely. Caster sugar, but as you can see, I don't have enough. So we're going 
together. That's calm it down. Yeah, I get angry very easily if things aren't nowhere. Pete comes out with his sleeves as I stop getting angry. Pete is here. He is making me fajitas because that is also why I'm angry because I have not eaten yet today and it is currently. It's coming. Like nearly 2 pm. So I'm, I'm getting hangry. I'm going to make this drizzle and then hopefully my food will be ready. What are you saying? Um, so if it's lemon and a half and it's 85, one lemon would be about 55. So you probably just do one lemon and like. If you want to like a side of a lemon, you can just a little bit of a lemon. But well, I've already used a little bit of the lemon already. Half, mm. half a lemon, anyway. You need to just have one lemon, but one real good, every juice of lemon, I guess. And what do we do with the spare lemon? Okay. Lemon's got. Yeah, it's fresh. Get in the freezer. Like, is that enough lemon or do we need more lemon? You need to make this before, how does it look like normally? No, I need to mix it, but you're telling me I don't have enough sugar, so I need to know if I've got enough lemon. I've done lemon. Tiny bit more. But, but I, can't, well, I don't have a tiny bit more. That, that's fine, that's fine. Keep, keep squeezing. Yeah, get all that out. Then your pips keep going. That's fine. Right. Take this out. But all I'm getting is pips and no juice. You've got loads of juice there. Well, that's what I was asking. Do I have enough juice? I mean, you've got loads of juice out in there. No, I'm just getting pips. I'm not getting juice. Right, well, I'll stir it together and see how, that's, see how it looks. You can always add more lemonade, I guess, later. It's still good. Subtract them. Huh? You can't subtract them, but they cut them. It's not enough. It's not enough. So you need all the sugar. So we've got half a lemon drizzle cake. And now it has to cool. Should be less hungry in a sec when she's eating this. I don't think Pete could be any happier. He's got the tennis and the fajitas. Yeah, but I can't see the tennis all the time. Sit there then. Sit next to me rather than in front of me. So the tennis is on the TV. Pete, who do you want to win? Better, obviously. Yeah, me too. What is it about Djokovic that I don't like? Why don't I like him? I can't put my finger on it. He just wants to be liked. Is that the only problem? Is it like that British <coughs> thing where if you want me to like you, then I'm not going to like you? Probably, yeah. If you pester me in a shop, I'm not going to buy anything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Good player, but... They will be in favour of Djokovic. Uh, and Boris, we would... We would have the semi-final. Winner of the first set. In the, uh, Jeff, are you enjoying that? Is that good? <laughs> even, the, even though you're falling steadily down the hole between the sofas. So Excuse the washing. Jeff's finding the tennis all a bit too much. So we had to rush out because Mr. Jeff was bursting for the loo. But yeah, Djokovic won. Better a joke, 40 15 up. Eight seven. He should have won. He had more break points and shit like that. Yeah, Federer had lost three tie breaks, was it? <laughs> I realise why I don't like Djokovic, and that's because of his scary manic eyes. And I, he kind of frightens me, and I don't trust him. And yeah, so that's why. So we're going into the park. I think Jeff for a walk. So yeah, but I think Pete's a bit disappointed. Though the match was good, so you in Sam, you lose Sam. Bruise update. We seem to have got bigger with a red bit in the middle. But all the outside seems to be green. 
I, mean, I think we're getting better. So that's the end of Sunday. That's the end of this weekend's vlog. Me and Jeff are pretty tired, so we're just gonna get ready for bed. Good sleep, everything's ready for work tomorrow morning. Yay! I forgot to say earlier that I did watch a Disney film yesterday and I watched Mulan, which I have not seen for an awfully long time. And thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it, although I have been singing, you know, let's get down to business and defeat the Huns all day, which has been slightly annoying for both me and Pete. Um, today's fairly productive, although I didn't quite get everything done that I wanted to do. Um, the tennis went on for far longer than we all imagined, eh, Jeff? Because you had to, wait to go for a wee-wee, didn't you? But you were a very good boy, yeah. So, not quite everything. I really want to buy a proper camera because at the moment I'm using my iPhone. And although the, the videos and the quality are okay, I mean, they of course could be improved. It's just not... <laughs> it's hard work, basically. I like to have both, I'd like to have both my hands to do things, particularly like the cake making today. And this does kill my battery and use up all my space. But all the good cameras are really expensive. So I don't know what to do about that yet. You got any ideas, Jeff? No, nope. he doesn't know either. But yeah. Ooh, sorry. Um, let's say it's time for bed. So me and Jeff, we'll see you next week for our next one. If you've liked this video, then please subscribe, like, and comment. And as I say, it just helps the channel grow. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope it's not been too boring for you. Anyway, good night and see you in the next one.